COVID-19 have attacked Malaysia. This is how Malaysia fight them. However, the battles did not end. Cases keep increasing with the highest recorded cases in 6 October 2020. Let me introduce about the COVID-19 virus. The virus RNA is surrounded by nucleocapsid protein within the virus envelope. The spike protein and other protein are embedded in the envelope itself. The available method for coronavirus detection are tedious and time-consuming. This is polymerase chain reaction (PCR), the most common and reliable method. It's able to identify part of the virus genome in the patient sample, which carry direction for making the nucleocapsid protein in NG. This is because there is not enough viral RNA to detect directly in the patient sample. Thus, this method amplifies many copies of the segment of the NG, thus consume more time for detection and the most expensive. The second one is lupinidate isothermal amplification LAM. LAM is single tube technique for the amplification of DNA and a low cost alternative to detect the virus compared to PCR. LAM show result more faster than PCR. LAM tests rely on capturing and detecting the virus and so it is possible to miss patients who have cleared virus and recovered from disease. ELISA use enzyme linked to antibodies that can attach to the molecule and is been tested for and cause a color change that can be measured by a reader. However, the sample detection also longer and possible for error. COVINA is been developed by Institute of Microengineering and Nanoelectronics, IMAN, specialized in MEMS and nanotechnology research since 2002. It is the pioneer of lab-on-chip research in Malaysia and extensively focusing on developing biosensor COVID-19 using graphene field effect transistor. With the emerging of micro or nanotechnology, COVID-19 graphene field effect transistor able to achieve mass production capability and low-cost manufacturing. Covina sensing platform is made up of chemically modified single layer graphene provides ultra sensitive and selective medium for detection of pathogens and biomolecules this existing sensing platform exhibit ambipolar curve when tested IV measurements with an attachment of probe such as aphthema on graphene layer in the significant changes in electrical characteristic of Covina hence Binding pathogens on aphthema will induce changes in ambipolar curve and this can be used as indicator to detect the pathogen present in any sample. With this, we can see that the advantages of Covina as effective biosensor for its high sensitivity, high specificity, enable for rapid detection and less laboratory work. I mean team is building on biosensor platform to identify various proteins, pathogens, DNA and biomolecules for rapid detection of diseases. IMAN keep moving forward for the sake of community.